I feel like this video should start with an apology because a lot of the product featured is exceptional. The actual video itself, the review of the product, is terrible. In fact, it's so terrible, you might want to consider switching off now. That bit was just a joke. Don't switch off just yet. You see, there are two types of review that I don't like filming and I also don't like watching. And that's people doing a review of a wedge and a review of a putter. The reason I don't like it is because they're very much subjective. They're very much down to personal choices and they're not performance led. So therefore, I very much think the reviews are pointless, as is my opinion. So today's video is going to feature four different putters and each of them are incredibly good and I'll get to that very quickly but there's one other contributing factor that makes this review terrible and that is who would possibly consider reviewing putters in the UK in the middle of winter. It's just not a good idea is it? So the four putters all come from Catwell Odyssey um, but we're going to start off with what has very much become a sort of classic almost iconic now this white hot og as they call it that return of that white hot face a few years back so many different models that you can choose from in terms of shapes and what suits your eye stroke lab uh, shaft fitted into these as well they're just there is a putter literally for everybody within this range it's finished incredibly well like i said classic iconic in terms of its looks feels fantastic we'll give it a bit of a rock <laughs> oh my god i was just gonna we'll give it a bit of a roll see how it performs but performance is very much again you know how much can we realistically test on these greens right now in the middle of winter i can tell you what i think of them i love the feel out of this white hot face like i said as do many of you in terms of what i'm going to show you today it is actually the cheapest end of the range right now this is the biggest surprise within the review lowest price model is i think 219 british pounds and I think the highest price model is 269 British pounds. And I think that was the, uh, the two ball model. So big deal is the price point. Yes, really good product, gonna suit a lot of golfers, but getting a bit expensive. If we can do that again, we might have to bag it. Oh my God. Oh, I thought I had. Right, on to number two. Okay, the second style we're gonna look at is a, uh, well, it's well and truly a mallet in terms of its styling. No, thought we might sneak another one in there. It's the 11, it's the follow on from 10, that stands to reason. It's got the white hot face again. There's some interesting weighting that's been pushed very much forward into the face to create a more stable impact location. Again, everything is about sort of forgiveness, I suppose, nowadays in every club, including putters as well. And the idea is for off center hits, the sort of roll remains constant, spin remains constant. And again, less fall offs in terms of the sort of, or consistency in terms of distance control. You'll see from the top, there's the model that I have has got this very thin, uh, minimal white line in terms of alignment, very much stripped back. There are two other options in the range, which is the triple track and no line in the model whatsoever. It's a real sort of classic mallet style putter, if you like. Again, what I like about all these putters that I'm gonna show you is that Odyssey have finished them off incredibly well, but they again are asking a big price tag. 329 is the list price on the 11 model. So these are becoming now, I mean, don't get me wrong, a putter is a serious piece of kit in your bag that you've got to get right, but they're putting it at a price point right now that is uh, stretching those limits a bit, isn't it? Let's give it one more roll. I've got to say, I've been surprised. The greens have been hollow time here at Carden Park, but they're rolling still really well. Just pull that one a little bit down the left. I'd also urge you to stick with this video though because there is something really interesting coming in the last product of the day and it's a price thing and it's a massive shock to me. Now whilst the title of the video um, is a little bit tongue in cheek, there's also a bit that I sort of believe where if I do a review I like to sort of back it up with something tangible, data led maybe that we can um, at least enforce some of the opinions I've got. And unfortunately with this kind of video, I can't do that. But the idea really, I suppose, is to show you these four models, give you a little bit of background on them, the likes of the price, the likes of the tech that's gone into them. I'll give you a little bit of an opinion on how they perform. 
I'm walking around and forgetting that this is a real interesting one for me. It's called the Trihot 5K, which is, I've no idea where that name comes from, real interesting one, but is effectively what Odyssey is saying is the blade that performs like a mallet. So they've made it incredibly stable. Many golfers out there like the idea of using a blade putter, but struggle with it in terms of consistency. Again, this weighting system that was uh, prevalent in... Um, in the 11 model makes its appearance again these weights are changeable by the way so you can change the head weight i think it's five grams through to 20 grams in terms of their individual weighting in five gram increments so again a real interesting product this one for me a new one in the line i think there's three or four versions we'll throw some imagery up for you now in terms of the model types but a real interesting one like i said and once again got that stroke lab um shaft in it we'll have a little bit of a roll at this one I uh, took a little bit of a jump that one. Nice pace, but a little bit of a hop on these hollow tying greens. That's a better roll. Could go in if it turns a little bit. Again, nice pace comes really nice off the face. And like I said, for a, for a blade putter, really, really stable. That one is really interesting in my opinion. The 11 is a continuation of what we've seen from 10. The white OG we've seen for a long, long time. This is something really new. I've just got one more I want to show you. Don't go anywhere because this is, to me, the real star of the show that's coming up next. Right, so last product of the day. It's a Toulon design and uh, the product I'm going to be testing or at least having a couple of rolls with is the uh, Las Vegas model. Absolutely stunning. I mean, what can I say about Toulon design putters? They're easy on the eye, milled faces. Introduction, this weighting system that you're seeing in the other putters uh, into these models, which again are interchangeable weights, which I really like the idea of. But the biggest shock for me is the price of the Toulon design. And I'm gonna say something that, when I say shock, you're gonna think I'm gonna go really high. And it's actually come down the other way. And that's the surprise for me. I mentioned that the Trihot 5K was 379. Well, you can now buy the Toulon designs for exactly that same price. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a very expensive putter, but when you consider where Toulon have been in the past, that sort of 450 price tag, this brings down massively. And I'm a bit surprised to say the least, because if I've got a choice of a Toulon design or an Odyssey for the same sort of money, then for me, just on the way this thing looks, the milled face, the sheer way this thing has been put together, then I'd be going down this route all day long. But again, I suppose that's up to the individual. But the other good thing, or the other interesting thing, I suppose, if you're considering Scotty Cameron's as your choice of putter, then this brings it well in line with the, that sort of premium brand in terms of a price tag as well. Let's give it a couple of rolls. Different face altogether uh, with this milled face just rolled off to the left. Let's see if we can aim a little bit higher. Feels fantastic. I haven't given that one enough and drops down left. That's the end of the review. Like I said earlier on the video, hopefully we've thrown loads of imagery over this uh, video. Hannah will do that in the edit, no doubt, to give you an idea of what these things look like and what are available in each of the ranges. That's what this video is all about. More about information giving, some pictures giving you some detail. I can't give you any more than saying if I was choosing one myself, definitely be the tool on design but each of them performed really really well right give me your feedback as ever comments down below tell me what you think of that pricing structure i've got an idea of what that might be already and uh, i'll see you all very soon oh god i've gone too far <laughs>